G'day guys and thanks for following along the build process of our new Coastwatch project boat. So uh, we've been heading down to Integra Marine from time to time and just following along with the progress. So as you can see here, um, Scott's basically designing the deck plug. So the deck will obviously be formed up as a mould first and hence they have to design a plug first to take the mould off. They just use MDF and uh, fairly slow process, but worth it. Here's Greg uh, working on the console plug. Same deal, the console's actually gonna be molded. So they have to make a plug to make the mold. And once they've got the mold, they can actually uh, make as many consoles as they like. And uh, yeah, look, progress is going along quite well. You can see it's gonna be a huge um, workspace, plenty of casting deck and obviously there'll be hatches and everything going there but um, yeah certainly lots and lots of room, huge side decks, super stable so um, yeah can't wait to get this thing on the water and do what it's designed to do. Um, like I said it's basically constructed out of MDF and then uh, it'll be a fiberglass mould uh, taken off the plug and then the actual composite moulds uh, or infused moulds will be uh, will be done out of that fibreglass mould. So quite a process, but as I said, once they've got one mould, uh, they can they can make as many decks as they like. And the way they're doing it, they'll be able to change uh, different hatch configurations between boats. So what I want as far as hatches for live wells and storage etc might not necessarily be what everyone else wants so that's why uh, they'll have the option to uh, add different different deck and different um, hatch moulds. Here uh, as you can see it's progressed quite a ways and um, it's been it's been painted and and they're sanding it to get a super smooth finish so when they do take a mould it'll be super smooth. Um, they took it off the trolley and put it onto my trailer. Uh, I actually already had a trailer that would suit. Um, so yeah, it's an easy tow that I had under my Hanes. So uh, there'll be a few modifications required to, to match the hull, but um, I didn't see any reason to buy a new trailer if I didn't have to. Um, this These are flat, deck panels so basically um, what they can do is they can infuse foam uh, to make various panels once they're infused they literally just give them flat panels that they can cut and use for bulkheads or or other other deck spaces or hatches but um, just another really efficient way to create super strong lightweight panels so Quite an interesting process to watch actually. And um, as you can see here, they can infuse multiple panels at once. So they've stacked the couple up here. That orange um, is like a separator just to separate between the different panels. And then there's obviously um, layers of glass between the foam. And then the resin actually infuses the whole lot. It's vacuum bagged as you'll see in a minute. And the, and the resin infuses um, basically stacks of panels. So they normally do two or three panels at a time down there. So um, this, this blue sheet helps um, separate the, uh, the resin and make sure it gets even infusion through all the panels. So yeah, pretty interesting process to watch, that's for sure. So what we've got here is the, the new deck plug for the 5.2 skiff. Um, basically what we've run with is a big flat layout that allows a number of different hatch options to go into it. It can be really simple or it can be quite intricate. Um, fair bit of effort going into this. Our next stage is the moulding process. So we'll then spray our red tooling gel coat over the top. Uh, and then the next stage after that is the first layer of glass or the tie layer. So basically what we do is lay over one light layer of glass over the entire uh, surface, wet it out with resin, 
And this is the one where we put a lot of effort in. It's, it's basically our, our first coat on the mould. So we want to make sure there's no air, we've got good resin saturation, and that's going to ensure that every product moving forward off the mould comes out the way that we want it to. Okay, so what we've got here is our flat table mould. This is what we use to lay up our own panels in-house. So we use these panels for flooring, uh, bulkheads, gussets, uh, forming up new products and bits and pieces like that. The benefit of doing this in-house is that we can control the thickness of our panels, the strength, what laminate goes onto it. So uh, we, we can change the layer of, of our stitch fabric that goes either side uh, to increase or decrease weight and strength as, as required. Um, we do it all under infusion, a uh, very si similar process to the way we do the hulls. Um, the benefit here is that you know, we don't use timber. Everything is a high-density core, uh, foam core. Um, no, no timber, no rot, no chance of water ingress, uh, and it, it's lightweight. Uh, it also adds a si significant amount to the flotation in, in each boat as well, which you know, if you are looking to go into survey, uh, it contributes greatly to, to the required amount there. What we've got here is, is, is two layers, two panels being done in one go. Um, and you can see the stitch quad axle fabric uh, either side of our core. So we've got a couple of different panels there. Uh, this will do a number of different boats as well with a, a flow medium over the top, which allows our resin to, to evenly distribute across the panels and down through the glass once it's under vacuum. So as you can see here, Scott's uh, applying the, the vacuum bag. It, uh, it gets stuck down to the table. So obviously they can remove all the air from, from the system. It's uh, again, quite a slow process, but the results are definitely worth it. They're certainly uh, perfectionists down there at Integ Marine. And um, it's been a pleasure to actually um, been able to film this process and um, and see exactly how it how it happens because uh, to be honest I've been in the boat building game or the boating industry for a long long time and I, I never knew how this process even even happened. So as you can see these are the tubes that actually suck the air out of the system. There's a there's a pump there that that sucks all the air out. So Scott's just. Um, applying the tubes into the appropriate locations or around the system. Once all the tubes are in place, he's, uh, he's obviously ready to, and once the, all the air is sucked out, he's ready to uh, stick those tubes in, into a bucket of resin and, and start drawing, drawing the resin through the panels. Okay, so we've now got our flat table or uh, flat panel table under vacuum. Um, basically, you can see here we've got our vacuum line which pulls all the air out of the job and compresses all the material to where it needs to be. And then on the surface, we've got our resin lines as well. So once we reach full vacuum, we're satisfied, we've got no leaks, etc., and we're ready to go, we'll then inject the resin in through these lines in stages. Uh, and it'll spread out over the, over the surface of the material and also saturate down through. Um, uh, the benefit of doing the infusion in the panels over hand lay is obviously, like I showed with the stitch fabric, we get a lot more strength than just a standard chop strand roll or, or a chopper gun. Um, but we also get a really consistent resin to glass or resin to fibre ratio, uh, which, which gives us maximum strength that we can, we can achieve. So at this stage, we've got about half vacuum uh, and we go around now and we just check all of our sealant tape, our tacky tape and all of our lines for leaks and make sure that uh, yeah we've got no air leaks uh, that the vacuum can pull through before it can pull the resin through so um, we'll, we'll go through now and, and check all that. Okay. So now we've got our vacuum down to where we want it uh, you can see everything's pulled in tight uh, compressed and, and ready to go so our next step is to inject the resin mix that up open up the valves and, and watch it go through the various stages. So, first step will be the catalyzing. So now we've got the first line stages opened up. Uh, you can see the resin flowing through. Uh, it'll work back into the center on each side and meet, and it'll also progress out to the second stage once we get just onto that second stage, we'll then open that one up, 
and that'll progress out to the edge uh, to our vacuum ring and complete the infusion. So it will only, we'll, we'll keep putting resin through, but it'll only absorb what it needs to. Um, after that, it just keeps cycling through. So we'll, we'll cut the, the resin off once we reach the edge so that we don't run the risk of just pouring excessive amounts of resin through the, through the job. Yeah, it was really interesting watching the resin actually being sucked through, as you can see here. It's a very efficient process and surprisingly quick, actually. You can see here down the sides, you can actually see the resin being sucked through the panels. And obviously the, the panels have all those little grooves in them, which allows the, the resin to flow and uh, be fully absorbed through the entire panel to give it the strength. Okay, so we've just finished putting all the resin through um, in the two different stages. You can see that it's pulled all the way out to the, the edge of the table. Uh, we've cut off the valves and, and turned them off so no more resin is going in and it's going to continue to pull the resin out of the lines and just saturate what it, what it can with the resin that's there. Um, so we'll leave this now overnight to cure. It'll gel in in 40 minutes to an hour. We'll leave it under bag overnight. Uh, and then the next step is uh, the following day, strip it all off and we're good to start using this panel in the bar.